So this is what happens when you have clay in your soil. The Fatima uh, uh, recognized about two weeks ago and we're still struggling with it. But notice what we have here. What is that, what is that called right there? Sitting water? Huh? Sitting water? Standing water, that's correct. Yes, this is a problem because this is where the... Uh, the uh... How do you think that happened? Was there a leak, you guys? Do you think there was a leak? Yeah, they like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the water is just hydrophobic? That's correct. Yeah. The water it's not isn't going anywhere. Yeah. It's not hydrophobic. It is stagnant because it is on top of hard pan that's or where clay. Got, that's where I got the clay clumps from. The clay has been compacted to the point where it, the water doesn't percolate. Mm. What you're going to learn, what you're going to do at your homes is that you are going to be planting trees and be doing all kinds of things. What we, Whenever we go to plant a tree, what we do is we make Mia dig a hole <laughs> and then we throw a gallon or two of water in there and we, we measure the time it takes for that water to clear that hole because that tells us what the percolation rate is in that soil and whether the roots are going to be able to penetrate it or not. But guess what? This has been sitting here for a week. Mm -hmm. So it, hasn't, it has not percolated through the soil because the soil is hard pan clay. But guess what? We can remediate this. Yeah, there's been horses on this property for 30 years. Uh, so before, this is why he mulched it, but if you get down to the base layer, mm -hmm. that's where the clay is. Yeah. See that? That's mm -hmm. clay. That, the water's not going to go through there. So this layer of mulch is only that thick. Mm -hmm. The goal is to keep mulching the property over and over and over so that eventually we can rebuild the soil. And that's this is the typical story of San Diego soils. Yeah. So three to five years, it, this is the project. If you have hard pan in your backyard, more than likely you do, you just have to make sure that you don't put your raised beds on top of the hard pan. Or, once you find out that you put your, your then you have to go through a procedure. It's a three to five year procedure. It involves gypsum, which I'm, sure I'm gonna show you right now. It involves compost. It involves mulch. It involves cover cropping. All these things have to be done in sequence. It involves worm tea. Yeah. You yeah. know, you, you have to involve all of these elements in order to break this up. And then what happens is all those minerals that are inside that clay soil, they get released. And all of a sudden the plants get access to them. So it's a beautiful thing. In other words, a brick of clay is like a gold mine. It's like you have flecks of gold inside of that, in that clay. And the only way you can get that clay to to kind of uh, give up that uh, give up the, the the gold is for you to add certain elements. So one of the things that we're going to do today.